Well, hello, dear friends. My buddies, pals out there, well wishes, and perhaps those who are not so well wishing for me. Just three days ago, I think the 21st or the 22nd, I had this very nasty setback from my very grave eye operation whereby I'm still blind and can't know till the 7th of July whether or not this operation has been a success. So I was very startled to receive a very aggressive telephone call from one of my nearest Catholic cousins, Jill Scott, whose uncle was such a wonderful Benedictine um, priest, Father Don, Don Julian Stoner. Anyway, um, I think you'll know from the tone of, the com of my reply to her conversation, you'll probably understand better why I'm struggling so hard with this tragedy which I always hope to resolve. I leave it to you all to make your own decisions. And for now, I'm off again to the hospital to tend to the eye. Love you all out there. Thanks. Um, I've never done eye sight to any of them. Perfectly well. I wrote to the parish priest. Oh, for God's sake. We're not going down that path again. Now, come, come, Joe. They've taken everything inside. You know very well. Let's face it. Well, Thomas is wrong, and everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. It's totally wrong, and he won't change his mind. What Georgina has done is wrong, and she won't change her mind. She's done nothing. She could do better than that. She could come and see me. I'm... No, no, Jill. Jean, Jill, Jill. I've seen, I've seen her house. I've seen her house. She got two hundred and fifty thousand pounds from her. I sent you the words. You always give her money. And then, then, then grow up and expect me to face the fact that this is family money, and she could help me by sharing some of it. I think it's disgusting. I found her a lovely flat to live in. Well, that's she has to pay to. I didn't say I didn't say she was rich. I said, what about sharing? Jill, don't pretend. Don't pretend. Her house is spankingly clean. It's beautifully restored. They spent sixty thousand pounds on it. She told me sixty, not six. No, no come on, Jill. Don't come on. Let's not pretend. I'm living in the most important. I know, I don't want to hear Jill. I don't want to hear, I know, I know, I sympathize. I sympathize, I sympathize, thank you. I don't, I don't want to be blamed for what Thomas has done to me. I'm not to be blamed for what Thomas and Dorothy have done to me. I beg for mercy, for pity, for help. And don't, let's pretend otherwise. I can't, I can't see what do you mean he should come to me? Come on. I don't know who you think. Who do you think you are? Well, I mean, you know, please, you know, don't let's, don't let's, uh, it uh, sounds perfectly horrible. I couldn't sympathize more. I'm not an unkind person. Upset me too badly. You do. I have to suffer. You. Well, yes, but you have. Everything Everything else you say is. I can't believe what you're saying. I can't believe what you're saying to me. I'm living in a box surrounded by my personal effects, and I have nowhere else to live for that. No money, because Thomas took the way, and don't let's pretend otherwise. It's the most tragic story. It's utterly tragic. You told me that before. I've never heard such rubbish. Yes, you did. You told me that before. Mm -hmm. Doc, but it isn't true. For Christ's sake, Jill. I just don't know what I've done. But you never believe a word I say. Why don't you listen to me? Oh, and take the other 
suicide. I've told you before. Well, I'm sorry, that's the way it comes over. But, I mean, God, I'm right, I want to sit down and not cry. I've got your office to I've always told you the truth. I've always, well, no. I've always told you the truth. I've always shown you the document. I don't want to continue this conversation because you're very unkind about what I've told you. I've told you always the truth. I've never not told you the truth. I've been cruel. I'm 72 already. Much more than that, everything that happens with Paul on Francis back, she is still not at all well. Has nobody heard that? Nobody cares, nobody cares, nobody cares. And don't let's pretend otherwise. They are all saying, excuse my fault, I'm going to be very And I love my aunt, I do. That's more than I can say to them. They let her die five or six. Yes, that's the truth. And I say to them, I don't care what you say. This conversation is so absurd, I can't pretend it. Of course I know they move. But you know how rich they are. He's just got, he's a hugely rich, he's a millionaire. Julian. His mother was incredibly, incredibly wealthy. Jill, you know, I wish you'd listen to me for a change. Well, that husband and wife. Jill, you always go for the maid talk. I'm not going to talk. Well, that's the way. It, that, that's the way. That's the way it comes across. I've never met such cruelty in my life. I'm not a cruel person. I never know, Jill. I haven't. Well, I have to say, Jill, 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 Jill. Jill, Jill one moment, please. You bring me very cruel messages, and I can't bear them. You bring me the cruel messages from Thomas and Gordon are a hundred percent response. No, I didn't say that's got nothing to do with health. I think we all have the share. You are cruel. I like feel cruel in a way. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Is it Joe? I have to finish my sentence, but you can't be bothered to listen to I'm saying you're bring you're bringing me cruel messages which are incorrect and I'll tell you all about Alexander Francis School. Well, you just told me that Alexander Francis school was paid for. I told me, I, my God, what a lie. Well, why believe it? Go back to one thing. I think Thomas and Georgina, who've got everything that you and I haven't, let's put it that way, can't they help? Why can't they help? It's helping. I need help. You're not listening to me. Don't, Jill, if I tell you the truth, you will never believe me. Georgina tells you how truth you believe her. I know exactly. Then I have this terribly serious operation. If you think of it, that kindness should be what the monster of our family. What's the but? I've seen him. What's the but? Oh, don't be so ridiculous, Jill. Don't be so silly. But this is absolutely dreadful. This is entirely the fault of Thomas and Georgina to leave me Gary. Why don't they help me? Your please. Listen, I'm just going like, I'm just going like that. I'm just, I've got so much pain. Yes, I understand. I understand. But at the moment, I'm in such pain, I'm just going like that. Please, I ask you again, please don't believe the people who tell you lies. I've never, ever lied to you. Ever. Okay, let's go.